Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Crace, and uh, today we're going to do a Drinking with Dustin segment, and it's kind of with a nightmare of a beer. Um, I have had this one before, and uh, I remember like back in my youth when we'd play Dungeons and Dragons, my friends, we'd always, everyone would get a, a six pack of this, and by the end of the night we would just be completely non-functional. Um, and that beer is EKU 28. Try to not get the glare on the label there. Um, what's crazy about this one is it's a six pack of 11% alcohol uh, beer. And it's, if I remember correctly, it, it's got a taste that will just knock you through a wall. Now it's been about, I don't know, I want to say about six years since I've had one of these. So this is going to be quite the experience. We'll see if it holds up to sort of the memory. Um, but the back of the bottle says, this is a world famous brew that has the character and richness to stand in the fine sherry or port. Um, just the right degree of sweetness, never coin, wonderful, aromic, and warming. EKU is the one whenever something good and hearty is needed. And um, yeah, it is a hearty, hearty German beer. Well, actually it says malt liquor, but... I don't know, they might just put that on there, but um, yeah, uh, I wish I knew like the style of this beer, um, but I can't remember, and I forgot to do some basic research. But if you like your German beers, um, this is definitely one to try um, because it's it's a it's a beast. And I can already smell it, and it's that far away from me. Definitely, um, which I'm starting to get a cold, so, you know, trust my smelling as, as you will. But you definitely get a nice, um, malt characteristic from it. Not a big, huge hop profile, but then again, it's starting to get a little swollen up in there. But one thing you do notice is kind of an alcohol tinge to it, kind of because once you get up to that eleven percent, it's kind of hard to um, hide that alcohol flavor. Um, so, but the color is a, um, a an amber. More so, I don't know why I'm looking over there. <laughs> um, it's a nice, uh, rich amber color. And uh, it didn't really form a head, but when you get, like I said, when you get to these higher um, alcohol beers, um, the alcohol kind of thins it, and you don't always get a nice big head. Plus, I didn't pour it, you know, the correct way all the time. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and hit this. Ooh. Ooh got a bite to it man but um yeah it is very sweet um it kind of reminds me of a more belgian uh style ale um it just kind of has that um it kind of has a fruity hit sort of in the background but not like in your face like a from bois wood or you know lambic wood or something like that but Definitely somewhere back in the back of the profile. Uh, definitely has sort of a, a, a fruit note to it. I'm not sure which fruit it is, but... I'm sure there's, um, there's definitely some more extreme beers out there, but... I don't know, usually when you get into these extreme alcohol content beers, um, they're usually like a special bottle or something like that. You know, you buy like one bottle of it for like 10 bucks. Um, this, you get a whole six pack for like 13, 14 dollars. So yeah, German beer, burp. Um, but uh, yeah, if uh, you get the, uh, get these and get a good D&D uh, &D gaming session going, it's going to go south real quick. 
especially when you have everybody uh, drinking it. But this is one of those ones, um, I don't find it, it's a hard one to buy all the time because sometimes after a couple bottles you might get a little sick of it because it does have a very big kind of crisp. I, I, I don't know how to describe You definitely get a, a, a big, sharp hit when it first hits your tongue, and then it mellows out into a nice malt smoothness. And then as you swallow, you kind of get that sharp hit again, followed by a nice, sweet aftertaste. Um, it is a really, really good beer. But at the same time, it's one of those ones that um, you're going to get full on this pretty quick, because it's a, it's a hefty... <clears throat> it's a hefty brew. It's not like, you know, drinking like a, a Miller Light or something like that, you know, where you can drink like 30 of them and not even really feel it. Um, this is one that after two of them, you're unless you're like a dedicated alcoholic, um, you are going to start feeling something. You probably start feeling something by the end of the first bottle because this is really getting into like wine territory. And... Um, you know, 11.2 ounces of 11%, you know, uh, uh, beer there, uh, it, it, it gets on you pretty fast. But uh, if you see this out in the um, the, the store, I, I've never seen it in a grocery store. Uh, I've only ever seen it in a, um, a liquor store or, you know, a, a store that deals in higher volume beers. Um, I think there is a limit to what... Um, grocery stores can sell beer wise what the, the alcohol content is uh, I know there is with liquor it can only be up to like 20% or something but um, this one is skirting that issue and uh, if you see this out there which I'll show you the, the label here again definitely give it a shot um, it's really a really good and robust beer and it's it's kinda not living up to what I remember, um, but you have to take into account that, um, you know, we drank those pretty quick and played Dungeons and Dragons, so uh, I'm sure there's a bit of fantasy in that, but yeah, as it warms up a little bit, or maybe it's just my mouth is starting to numb out to it, um, that, that big sharp hit when it first hits your mouth is definitely starting to mellow out and it's getting a much more multi really good multi flavor um with i'm starting to get i, I am starting to get like a, a hop hit but it's nothing like you would get with like a an ipa or something like that definitely a very uh multi ale um, so if you like that kind of stuff, or maybe it, it's not an ale. I think this might actually be a lager. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Maybe I'll write it. In the, I'll look into it, and I'll write it in the description below so we can just be sure I don't get beat up by a bunch of beer snobs out there. Um, but, uh, yeah, considered a world classic by Michael Jackson. Not the Michael Jackson, but if, you're, if you know things about beer reviews, you'll know who Michael Jackson is. Not, um, you know, not Billie Jean, but... Uh, the beer reviewer, Michael Jackson, so. Very highly regarded and very good. Just uh, drink it responsibly. No D&D, &D, no rolling dice and getting drunk. It's all fun and games until a 20-sided die is stuck in your eye. That rhymed. All right, I'm done with this. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.